okay guys today i'm going to walk you through on how to create a amazon kdp account real quick okay so i've actually made a video on this but i don't know youtube take down the video i don't know the reason i don't know the reason why they take down the video but i'm going to do this video again because of those that have not still have an issue on creating their amazon kdp account okay so doing this is very easy i'm going to walk you through real quick okay so all you need to do just stay to the end of this video and watch how i'm going to walk you through on this okay so first of all what you need to do if you don't have an account with amazon just click on where it says sign up here real quick and create an account i think the credential i want to use in creating this account have a has an amazon account so what you need to do go down and click where it say create a new kdp account okay once you click click a new kdp account enter your first name here enter your last your email address create a password then click create your kdp account and really quick to take you to the next step where we show you where to enter to verify your email and then the next step again where you enter your phone number you change the us to nigeria and you cannot take you to the next step where you have to solve some puzzle inputting spiral galaxy and so on and real quick you have your amazon account okay so once you've done through that step all you need to do just maybe go back go back and sign in here go where it says sign in with your amazon account so real quick i'm going to sign in with the amazon with the amazon account i want to use walking you through on this tutorial real quick okay so the amazon account here i'll just go to this um place it says sign in with your amazon account real quick just click on it so it's loading real quick so now i'm going to enter my uh, the amazon account here real quick so the amazon account here real quick i'm going to use in walking you through on this is um and the email here is uh, it should be our low star okay so we'll just enter it real quick 845 at gmail.com okay while i'm still entering to see your boy here with bernard Welcome to Everyday Web Channel where I create videos on how to make money online, doing little or no task and get paid. Okay, so if it is this interests you, just give this video a thumbs up and kindly kind of smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you will notified whenever I upload new videos like this. Okay, so I will enter the, the password here real quick. So the password here is um, I think the password here is. Let me just take this off the, so you won't see what my password what it looks like. <laughs> So the password there is uh, okay. Then keep me signing and click on login. Okay. So was the process there was a problem? I think so. Just enter the password again. I think I have issue with the password. So I'll just enter the password there real quick. Okay. Just keep me signing and important message to. To better protect your account, please re-enter your password and re-enter character as shown in the image below. Okay, so we'll now re-enter our password again for security purposes. Okay, so we'll now enter the character here, this C eight Y N W R. So just enter it real quick the way it is as shown on the image. C eight Y N W arrow so once you've done that you click on signing real quick and boom this is it okay so this is your actually overview of your kdp account okay you are having your bookshelf here where your book will be you're having your reports your daily your incomes and all you're having your community you're having your marketing where you can run ads and all so on so and that's it so now they say your account information is incomplete to publish a book you need to complete this so what we need to do for us to create for us to be able to create our book here by clicking this you have to actually you have to actually complete your your account creation and doing that you just click where you say update now this where you say update now you're seeing it here update now just click on it update now i'm going to walk you through on how to update your account real quick so here they will say two-step verification enter the phone number where you would like to receive your one-time password otp so we're going to be entering the phone number we we and use at the first time to create our pass our amazon account so real quick the path phone number will just enter it here real quick before that just change your us to nigerian because you're creating this account in nigeria and you're using a nigerian phone number to create this account so just really quick scroll down to where you see nigeria here 
and enter nigeria and enter the phone number okay i'll just enter the phone number real quick so the phone number here is 0810 okay so then click on send otp okay so once you click on send otp real quick then go to sync they are going to send you an otp real quick okay so be waiting for the otp okay they've sent the otp okay so all we need to do just enter the otp real quick so the otp is um enter the otp real quick okay so once you've entered the otp the way it is just click on continue okay and boom it's gonna show out the next stage okay so the next stage here we are is um completing our credentials so now they said which country religion region do you live in enter the following information to help us determine how to send your payment so they say business type you're going to leave this as um individual so your date of birth you're going to be entering your date of birth accurately the way it is on your bank account and all so my date of birth here on this ac account is on um, i think date of birth should be january just click on the just click on the calendar here and um just go here and maybe choose the date of birth on january 26 i guess okay so country or region so what you need to do you enter your country or region so you're not going to be using us on this just use the country you are which is nigeria so just leave this as nigeria real quick just type in nigeria i think nigeria will come out just click on nigeria so you're entering your legal name so the legal name of this person i'm using is Awolo george Awolo esther okay so that's the name of the person i'm using on this so once you've done that you enter your address the way it is so the address of this place this address is somewhere in bayasa yenegua so just enter the address yenegua okay so you can the address to is, is optional so they leave the city we leave the city as let's say yenegua okay leave the city as yenegua and leave the state as let's say Bayasa state okay so the postal code so getting postal code for this you could just maybe go to your what's it called your google and search for let's say yenegua postal code yenegua postal code okay and google gonna give you postal code for yenegua okay so we we'll just click on go to get postal code for okay this is their postal code 569109 so all you need to do just copy this real quick or just brainstorm it as 569101 okay go back here and put it 569101 okay i think that's it then you enter your phone number real quick again okay so the phone number will just enter my phone number real quick so once you've done that you just scroll and go to where you say add bank okay so they say getting paid provide your bank information receiving electronic royalty okay so you just enter your bank click on where you say add the bank just click scroll where is your bank you could just leave this as i don't have a bank because you'll be using a pioneer account for this but if you don't have a pioneer account i've made a video on how on how to create a pioneer account real quick you could just click on the description section or any somewhere around the top of this your the video or at the end screen of this video to watch to watch the tutorial on how to create a pioneer account okay so once you create your pioneer account you could just come here and maybe enter united states and fill in your bank details okay so but for now you don't have a bank account or all, you could just click i don't have a bank account to proceed okay so once you've done that you just screw leave all these so just go and complete tax okay so once you've done that they say you have to unsave just save and continue okay so now go so just take us to the next level so the next step is gonna be tax information interview okay so doing this 
people just now they say you leave the f- select language as english if you speak if you speak a different language you can actually change them to indi- maybe arabic russian italian or polish so but for here you're going to leave this as english so what is your tax classification so you're going to leave the tax classification as individual okay so it comes in the next step you say are you a u.s citizen u.s permanent resident green card card holder or the u.s resident you just click uh no because you're not the u.s citizen just click where you say no okay so it, it's not a problem just leave it as no are you acting as an intermediary agent or other person receiving payment on behalf of another person or as followed to our entity just click no too so then tax identity information yes your full name is awolo esther country citizenship select one you just leave it as nigeria as normal because you're working this you're creating this account from nigeria okay and you're a nigerian citizen so just go down look for nigeria real quick so this is nigeria so just still scroll permanent address okay you leave it Ah, uh, so here is another important place you have to pay attention because many people find it difficult here on this place. So you say taxpayer identification number ten. I have a non US thing. Just unclick this where you say I have a non US thing. Okay. Once you click it, it will bring out a drop down. So the drop down will say if nothing is provided, any reduction of the thirty percent statutory withholding tax rate applicable to your US source payment will not apply. So why are you not able to provide a thing the country where i am liable to pay tax does not issue things to its residents i have applied for it same but have things received it yet i could not have not obtained things from my local authorities because of other reasons so just pick the first one where you say the country where i'm liable to pay tax does not issue things to its residents just a quick pick it there click on it and once you've done that you click on continue okay once you click on continue you could just maybe go through all these their terms and conditions so once you go through the terms and conditions you just click i satisfy that i have the capacity to sign for the person identify on line one of this form you just real quick just click on click this box check box here and maybe signature you could just enter your full name so the full name here you just enter your full name here real quick so your full name is our Okay, Esther. Okay, that's the full name of this account. Okay, so once you've done that, make sure your name, everything is accurate. Once you've done that, the date is there. The date where the, when this account is open is there. So you just click on save and preview. So click, clicking on that is going to load and boom, this is our form. Okay, so see this how it is. So you can go through it. So the only thing we've not added here is just the bank account as i said earlier you can just maybe click on the link if you don't have a, a bank account which is a pioneer account or a Gree account or um what's it other account or uh, uh, gp gp bank account any of them can work you can just maybe use the pioneer account because i've made video on how to create a pioneer account just use click the link down below or the description section to watch the tutorial okay so you can able to be able to link your account to your pioneer account so once you've done that you just submit the form real quick and boom your account is successful congratulations you've successfully created and update your kdp account so the next thing you're gonna do you just click on where you say exit interview so once you've done that to take you to your overview dashboard real quick and boom you can now publish on amazon so real quick okay so just go to your bookshelf and now you, you can see we don't have those notifications that saying our account is not updated so congratulations you've created an amazon kdp account and update it okay so next thing you need to do is to start creating your paperback and ebook and publish on amazon okay guys if you find the video helpful and educative please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified when we upload videos like this on the channel thank you guys for watching see you in my next video peace out